felt really personal. Shock and sadness on Christmas morning at this veteran cemetery. This was in February that we buried him and all those same people in that same area, all of their families are still grieving over this. This is all of their first Christmas away from their loved ones. Deputies and Broadway firefighters spend part of their Christmas cleaning up and erasing this graffiti. The next day, people like Angie Chambers came to see their loved ones. She was visiting her late husband, Bob, who served in the Navy. He passed away in November. His service was December 6th. His stone was placed on the 23rd. Buried in the mausoleum, Angie says her husband's stone was not spray painted, but the ones around his were. This is wrong. The graffiti was found on the grave of Danny Huey's father, Eddie Gerald Coker, who served in the Army. Well, definitely anger. Um, you know, to, to see somebody's multiple people's graves like this desecrated that, you know, gave their their lives, some of these people, you know, selfless service to their country. Families now asking why and for whoever is responsible to be caught. And people very thankful for those who came here yesterday to clean up. Now there have been other similar incidents of vandalism, na uh, na namely at Upstate Granite Solutions over in Greenville County over the past few months. I asked the Anderson County Sheriff's Office if they believe that these incidents are in any way connected. I'm told that they can't confirm that tonight until they speak with detectives and the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. For now, reporting live in Anderson, Zach Prelutsky for Fox Carolina News.